This video will discuss the basic principles of a permanent pest exclusion called as the High Tunnel Pest Exclusion or HTPE. High tunnel producers in the southeast face many chewing and sucking insect pest problems, just like the open field crop. Due to the exclusion of rainfall along with high heat and humidity, certain large insect pests can intensify in the high tunnel. Close proximity of crops makes the pest problem even bigger and crop losses can be significant if uncontrolled. A pest exclusion system has two components for success, design and material. An effective design means pest exclusion systems should have a sturdy construction, such as high tunnels. Exclusion material should be of good quality for extended use throughout the season. It is also important to understand the implications of a permanent exclusion system, for example, impact on beneficial insects. We initiated laboratory-based rapid screening of pest exclusion materials in 2014 using models as shown here. Insect pest and beneficial insect behavior have been accessed, and we have now taken laboratory results to the field to refine the technology with commercial vegetable producers. A permanent pest exclusion system can significantly reduce feeding of leaf-footed bugs on vegetables grown inside the high tunnel. In laboratory studies, these insects can be seen exploring the outer surface of a 50% knitted fabric and fail to reach the crop inside. Watch other videos in the series for more information about the effect of HTPE on hard-to-kill insect pests like leaf-footed bugs and stink bugs. Let us discuss some field observations from producers who are currently using the HTPE system. Will Maston, a high tunnel producer in southwest Alabama, has numerous netted structures to protect hydroponic lettuce, tomatoes, beans, and herbs. He has also integrated trap crops and beneficial insects on the farm for protecting crops. Will Maston has observed that the HTPE system with 50% farm tech shade cloth significantly reduces armyworm and hornworm caterpillars by excluding the moths. There was also 90% reduction in the number of sucking insect pests like stink bugs and leaf-footed bugs. This has led to a significant improvement in crop quality and higher profit. In southeast Alabama, IPM demonstration was set up at a teaching farm operated by Jewel and Russell Bean. With a 40% shade cloth, there was immediate reduction in the number of cool season insects like imported cabbage worms that normally hide inside the tunnels. The fabric also reduced the number of active leaf-footed bugs inside the high tunnel that were present outside on the crop during the installation process. We reduced our squash bug, leaf-footed bugs, and uh, caterpillars. We didn't have any worm damage. Uh, this is one of the best things we've ever done is using this fabric for exclusion. The HTPE system as a permanent exclusion tactic offers many advantages. As the on-farm studies have shown, HTPE system can prevent pest establishment and opens the possibility for integrating the use of biological control agents inside the unit. It is best to install the netting when there are no crops and no overwintering insect pests inside the high tunnels. The HTPE system is not meant to exclude all pests and will not replace direct insect pest scouting practices. Much of the research-based information contained in this video can also be found in these publications available via Google or the Alabama Vegetable IPM website. You can also find pictures and videos on our Facebook page. We hope that you have now got a solid introduction to the High Tunnel Pest Exclusion System. Please watch other videos in the series and call a Commercial Horticulture Regional Extension Agent for updates.